Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Hell for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. And I told you guys, I knew it, I felt it. It was June, coming up to the last few days of June. And John Chaika finally makes a trade acquiring, acquiring Carl Soderberg for Kevin Connaughton and a third round pick. Um, face value, what a trade. I mean... Kevin Connaughton, who's a 7th D-man who barely cracked the lineup last season, traded for, you know, a 20-goal score, 40-45-point depth centerman. I mean, yeah, I'll take that every day. But you got to dig deeper into these trades and look to see, you know, was it really a smart trade? Is it what fans hoped for? What does it mean for the near future? And uh, I've got mixed feelings about it. Um, Carl Soderberg carries a $4.7 million cap hit. So he's really only a million and a half um, below uh, Phil Kessel's cap hit just for, you know, as a reference. But he's got one year left. And I think that's a huge point that needs to be made in this trade and why John Chaika acquired him. I think John Chaika is a big gun shy in this free agent market. I mean, some of these contracts these guys are getting are like unbelievable like seven million dollars for kevin hayes it looks like tyler myers is getting seven million dollars uh jeff skinner getting nine million dollars i mean the only good contract i saw was william carlson getting 5.5 million i think that's a great contract for both teams but i think like if the coyotes were in on matt duchene duchene's looking at 10 million Base. That's why Nashville had to get rid of P.K. Subban to fit him in. And uh, uh, Panarin, definitely looking for $9 million plus. If you offer Sheet an RFA, you're looking at $10 million plus. I just feel like this free agency is going to be crazy. And John Chaga doesn't want to get you know bogged down by a long-term contract that will look pretty poor in a couple years. And he doesn't give out long-term contracts, so it would be strange to see Chaika get a free agent for eight years. I mean, he's only done it to OEL, um, who he named captain at the same time and is a franchise cornerstone player who's been on the team for a while. So I don't expect Chaika to give out really lengthy, expensive contracts just for the sake that everyone else is doing it. Um, what this means is I think this is it. I think Soderberg is going to be that one acquisition in the offseason that John Chaika gets. It, yes, it's a heavy cap hit just for this season, but it's one after one year, uh, that's it. It's off the books. Uh, he'll provide some good depth for when someone gets injured. He could play both center and the wing position. Uh, he had 23 goals last year, which would lead the Coyotes if he was on the team. Last season, he had 37 points, 16 goals, which... Seems to me more like a Coyotes player, you know, 15, 16 goals, 35 points. So he'll fit right in. But, I mean, we're just going to fill him in as a depth guy. He's probably going to replace Nick Cousins, Richard Ponick, um, which those players are for sure gone. Um, in other news, John Chaika didn't qualify Nick Cousins or Josh Archibald, and Richard Ponick will likely walk. So, I mean, if Cousins and Archibald, they were looking for raises, probably about a million a million and a half dollars each so that's two and a half million dollars there plus Ponick's two and a half million dollars I mean you can make a case that he replaced Cousins Archibald and Ponick with Carl Soderberg and I'd be okay with that um Coderberg, uh, Soderberg sorry um he could put up points I I would say he'll probably drop off from last season he had 51 points a couple seasons ago and then he had 14 points in 80 games during that horrendous Colorado Avalanche season like three years ago. So I doubt he'll drop down to 14 points, but I can see him being a nice 30, 35 point guy. He's a veteran, 34 years old. Don't really, I never anticipated Chike against such an older guy, but it's only for one year as opposed to Phil Kessel, who I said I didn't want because he was old and he carried a five year, three to five year, I forget. Uh, term contract left so for one year it's fine he's Swedish get along well with Ekman Larson and John Merson. Um another he's a guy who could produce more than Nick Cousins and Archibald I feel like like I would replace them two with Soderberg all day I feel like Cousins and Archibald were like 
I appreciate with what with with what they did for the team. I really do. I love Cousins and Archibald as people, but I mean they were anchors on the team. They were only there because of how decimated the team's injuries were. And with a healthy Coyotes team, Cousins and Archibald shouldn't be anywhere near this team. Uh, Soderberg a, is a better fit. The only like blemish I, I'm skeptical of is he had two points in the playoffs last year in 12 playoff games. I had him in my fantasy playoff pool, so I know all well, full well, um, that he did not produce in the playoffs last year, even though Colorado made it to the second round and they were a pretty good team in the playoffs, beating out a top-seeded Calgary. But, you know, it's still unfortunate that Soderberg didn't really produce for the team when it mattered most. But that's neither here nor there. Um, it's a trade for Kevin Connaughton. I liked Kevin Connaughton as, like, like Cousins and Archibald. I liked him as a person, but uh, as a player, not so much. I didn't hate him as much as other people dislike him. I didn't really use him as a punching bag. I actually loved him when he scored those 11 goals last season. I was laughing, laughing at my TV, watching NHL hockey, which probably shouldn't happen. But every time he scored, I was in hysterics. I loved it when he scored. The whole team loved it when he was putting in those 11 goals because they knew how ridiculous it was that this guy was scoring 11 goals. But uh, last season, he only had one goal um, and he didn't really do much. He was scratched most of the time in favor of Ilya Labushkin who have, who got a, con- a one-year contract with the Coyotes who will fill Connaughton's spot and then you got young guys like Capo Bianco who will probably make the roster to start the season if Chaika and Tockett think Labushkin can handle third pairing duties and Capo Bianco will get one more season in the AHL and then replace Labushkin next season but uh, I feel like Labushkin is is a more reliable Kanaan with less of the offensive upside. He's a bigger body, uh, clears out the crease better, plays in the corners better, and doesn't do too much out of his skill set. So I'm happy with Labushkin replacing Kanaan. We'll see what happens with Capo Bianco as well. But other than that, that's all I got to say. Um, hopefully Soderberg could pot in 15 goals. This guy puts in 15 goals, 30 points. I'm happy. I'll take that for one year. It's it's up to the other guys. I say this mostly every video now. It's up to Dvorak, Fisher, Kraus um, to get that depth scoring the Coyotes need, and then Keller and Schmaltz to and Gelchenyuk to be like offensive dynamos. If that happens, we're good. So we'll see. It, it's a good trade for Kanadin. I'll, I'll take it, um, and for a one year term contract, I'll take that too. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support.